Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the newest episode of Chord Compendium. We're back finally. I'm going to kind of change the direction of this series, and I want to basically take a look at every single type of chord that there is, starting with the major chord. Okay, now the major chord comes from the major scale, and we're just going to take a look at the key of C major here. I'm going to play the notes for you. We have C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. All right. Okay, now the major chord can be played from any note on the piano. Okay, you pick any note you want and you can form a major chord from that note. We're just going to work with C for now. What you're going to do to get a major chord is you're going to play a root note, again, any note you want, and then you're going to go up a major third. All right. Now, if you don't know what a major third is, I can't really help you here. We're going to send you back to one of the many interval videos that I've done. If you go to the Music Theory Monday's playlist, the very first episode is a very basic outline of what the intervals are. Go there, watch that, get familiar with it. It's kind of dry and boring, but nonetheless, the information's there if you need it. In the future, we'll expand on the intervals. But back to the chord, the major chord, pick any root. We're going to go with C, all right? And you go up a major third, which brings you to E. And then you're going to go up a minor third, which brings you to G. All right, I'm going to throw some octave Cs in the bass. All right, that is a C major chord. So from an intervallic standpoint, the major chord, also known as the major triad, triad meaning three notes, is made up of a root note, a third, and a fifth. All right? Now, that root to third relationship is a major interval, and the third to fifth relationship is a minor interval. So the major chord consists of two intervals stacked. We have the root to the third, which is major, and the third to the fifth, which is minor, and that will create your major chord. Now, if you know all 12 major scales, Pulling these chords out will be easy, okay? I'm just going to run through all 12 real quick for you using the circle of fifths and the circle of fourths, all right? So here's C major, G major, D major, A major, E major, B major, F major, B flat major, E flat major, a flat major, D flat major, and G flat major. All right, there you have all 12 major chords, major triads. All 12 have one thing in common. They're all major. So that means they have a major third interval between the root and the third, and a minor third interval between the third and the fifth. Okay, major chords can be found as the one chord, four chord, and five chord in a major key, and the three chord, six chord, and seven chord of a minor key. All right? I think that's all we're going to cover for today, guys. Stay tuned next time when we take a look at the minor chord. Thanks for watching.